Is everyone ready to say goodbye to our interim server? Well, especially since blocks. I already hit go live. Huh? Especially since I already hit go live. Oh, I didn't know you had. Hello, hello, everybody. How you doing? It is the uh, the season wrap up for season two. Um, I forgot to log in on my camera account, but I'm not going to switch it now because every last time I tried that, it it got yeah, it didn't work out so well. Oh well. Wow. Let me uh. Let me see if I can warp over to the camera. Island. Since I didn't... Oh, that player does not have an active warp. Never mind. All right. Uh, we started off in that little, what, 10 block by 10 block uh, island? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I should probably change the boots out real quick. So, uh, where do we want to start for the wrap-up? Uh, with me figuring out how to log in. <laughs> okay. Well, while you're doing that, I'm going to warp back over to the spawn area, because I should be able to see the, uh, starter island. <laughs> <laughs> that little island, five blocks by five blocks with a single tree and a chest full of starter goodies. That is how we started season two. Uh, about this time last year? Was that in the year? Oh, well, yeah, yeah literally yeah. this time last year. Literally this time last year. We all started on one of those the, one of those tiny little islands suspended above, above the void. We all ended up over here on Spawn Island with our with our instructions and such and little hints and things. And uh, we've uh, we've we've built a few things with that. <laughs> just a little bit. Just a little bit, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. I mean, some of us have some nice Japanese towers, and others have castle keeps, and others have. Uh, Ostensibly tiny fountains made of quartz. Yeah, I think uh, I think Arcadius won this uh, this one. <laughs> well, as soon as Reyes gets in, we can run the island ranking thing and see and get an actual number. Why well, I, I failed on all of them? No, 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 no. Uh, I'm not saying one that way. I'm I'm saying I think he won the uh, the the build. The I build. Think his build looks really awesome. Uh. I don't know. I really like your little castle town. And without uh, your failed castle to connect town, to server. Shrine City doesn't look too. Uh, did you update it for the new server? Because we did that move to Nodecraft. How you do that? It's what? in the uh, chat. <laughs> the chat that you know I don't read. Okay. The chat that I told you to read. I still don't read it. Coffee right. craft. Uh, important location. Do not nope. do not say the important location over the air. <laughs> you go to mute your mic if you must if you feel the need to <laughs> if you need to feel the need to read it out loud. <laughs> and the password is A, B, three. C, the password B, is one, three. Two, three <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh. Nope. Edit. <laughs> I don't know. As far as size and the the numbers that the game's gonna <coughs> run off, I think a non might have us beat. But it, it's a throw up between a non and medic. I did a thing. <laughs> there you are. Hey, she has the least deaths this season. Well, <laughs> since we started counting. That never happens. <laughs> Take a snapshot of that screen, I'll tell you what. Go around and open up all my doors. Oh, that's a good point. Let me go do that. That door. Yeah. I don't think I have any doors that need to be opened, now that I think about it. Oh, 
<laughs> These guys. And they're all still there this time. Are you on the admin account where you can just go through everything? No, I, I had intended to, and it just slipped my mind. Good short-term memory something or other. Can't remember what that's called. That's okay. The people can tour. <coughs> we can each tour our base for you. Oh, wait, wait. No. Hold on. Mm -hmm. uh, slash IS, and then go to... Island level. Island lock. There we go. Deactivated the island. Wait, no. Did I... What did I do? Island lock is if people can come to your island. Yeah. Okay, not that. But if you can put somebody, I think it's on a team or something. Yeah. They got to be on your team to invite them, and then it's only for that island. I've I've unlocked all my doors, so. I've opened all the doors that matter, so there you go. Ah, island group, that's what it is. Island group members. I don't know why I'm bothering to harvest the... the, the, the. <laughs> Yay, more dirt! It's not giving points. the option of you guys, though. Cover over the... players' icon to view their permissions. Yeah, because they have to be on your island to give them permission. Oh. Well, look, we learned a thing even today. Hang on. i got to put down four more dirt blocks and try to secure my lead. <laughs> <laughs> also, Happy New Year, everyone. We survived 2021. Happy New Year. All right, everybody hit, uh, everybody click your island level. Let's refresh. Uh, you got to be on your island to do it. Mine's not right. Why? Oh, there we go. Okay, because originally it was saying my rank was three, and that yeah. was not right. 708.95. Six sixteen eighty four. Eight thirteen sixty six. Ooh. Dang. All right, you did it. There you go. So who's in first? Medic is. Oh, okay. Didn't didn't somebody say at the beginning of the season that they didn't think anybody was ever going to reach island level five hundred? I seem to recall somebody well, saying something about, you know, no one was going to reach island level 500. Well, that was also, you know, when we were having so many issues. I mean, there's still uh, there's still things that I haven't been able to get done yet because of the issues that were going on with Skyblock. Such as? Uh, well, if I go to my uh, challenges... I was never able to uh, get the Wither Hunter because I could not find Wither in my bad guy area. Um, oh, the Wither skeletons! Yeah, one of the one of the challenges gives you the Wither skulls to make the Wither. The uh, Beaconator. I was never able to make that because I couldn't do the Nether Fortress or the Maestro Wither Hunter. Uh, never got the end portal done. <coughs> Um, let's see the the fishing one I finally was able to complete. Uh, couldn't complete the Taj Mahal because I just couldn't get quartz blocks fast enough. Ooh, ooh, hang on, I think I got enough uh, fungus from one of my uh, one of my sessions earlier. Let, let me go check storage. I might be able to complete one more challenge real quick. 
Oh my goodness. You're obsessive. No, 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 no. No, no, no. It is what it is. No, 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 no. no, no. We're not done yet. The server's not down yet. (laughs) It's not over. No, no. We've already submitted scores. Get back over here. It's not over. over uh, It's not over until the the last backups run. Uh, What do I need? It's all right. I can hit this restart island. Right. Oh boy. Uh, I need. What do I need? What do I need for this master world food thingy? I need thirty-two wheat, thirty-two <laughs> oh eggs, That's and a milk here. bucket. Everything needs Have milk. You updated your uh, your map since I gave it to you? Because that doesn't look updated. Who me? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> How do I do that again? <clears throat> Pick it up, walk around. We're gonna get new there. blocks. That's what you're really excited about. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm super excited about the whole, uh, some of the block. I, I, already, I already know what I'm building with. Oh, uh, no. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to mention anything because I don't want to ruin it, but. I'm building with nothing but uh, lightning Hopper. rods and hoppers. No. No. I'm building, I'm building an entire thing in dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. All right. There we go. I got the, the pasty feng shai or something. Some Pasta sort of... fun guy. Yeah. Whatever. I guess the uh, the only one I couldn't finish is the smurmer bread. That Danish thing that requires tropical fish that I could never get enough of. Because I'm not the I'm not the kind to just sit around fishing. I feel like that was pointed. That was not pointed. <coughs> it was pointed. It was not pointed. I felt the point. That's not the point. Might not be your point. All right. So who whose island are we starting this grand tour on? Uh, let's do it in backwards order. Start with number four. Okay. Me. And then go to whoever number three is, and then two, and then one. On my way. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Hold on. Let's do that. Because we all know how dangerous her island is at night. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's true. not that bad. I, I I see she's installed all the sea lanterns that were uh, semi-pointedly tossed over the tossed over the wall. Yeah, but they make the bottom look dumb now. Well, you're not supposed to look at the bottom. I built it so you could look at the bottom. Okay. Okay. Here I am. Are we waiting okay, for everybody so... else to warp over? Or oh no, there's Arcadius. Yep. <coughs> no mus. Where's medic? Um, I'm trying to get out of warp. Hold on. There we go. I just walked. You go to the shiny over. thing and you click the button. <laughs> did, did you really just walk over? There we go. Yeah. Why not? I, I don't have a good reason why not. Okay. So, the biggest thing I learned from Skybach is, Why? uh, yeah, I, I, I couldn't care less about it. I like playing with people. So being isolated like this and not doing stuff with people, I don't give a word that I can't say on a family-friendly channel. Hmm. Kicked in. Okay. Um... So yeah, I'm really excited to be able to play with my friends again and not to be put in solitary confinement. Uh, but uh, while I was stuck in solitary, <laughs> well, I made some farms. I did the closest thing I do to redstone because Medic told me step by step how to do it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> and she did it with no cursing. Yeah. That too. Yeah. 
That deserves uh, a mention. These are more farms. These were going to be more extended farms so that it looked like all farmland out here. So this whole plane was going to be farms before I got bored. <laughs> and I got my little boxes for each thing. And then over here, <clears throat> this was going to be all my little animal pens. Which one was going in this this one here? After the pigs and before the other empty one? The frog. <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't come out till 1.18. I think. Uh, I don't remember. Or is that 1.19 um, that they're working on that on? And I got my cows, and I got all the colors of sheepies, and I got some chickens. And this is just where I was making the little awning so that lightning would stop hitting my stuff. <laughs> yeah. Uh, who else had serious problems with lightning hitting stuff? Uh, yeah. This is my very organized forest. You? I didn't have a problem with lightning this season. Mm -hmm. Ooh! And my tree that we learned that this stuff grows forever. Yeah, that's right. Your uh, vine goes down to the void. Mm hmm. And then down here is my little crafting space, which is a little bit chaotic. Yeah, uh, a lot more. Chaotic than I was expecting to come. Well, because it was originally going to get moved, and this floor was going to become this floor here. <laughs> <laughs> ah. So it's all going to get moved down several blocks. Oop. And then we can walk down the stairs and admire the shrubbery. Or you can go, wee! It's a shrubbery! And splash. This guy is hilarious. No, oh, with the pumpkin on his head? Yeah. He he ended up in my farm from Halloween. He cute. And then I also got my mushrooms that never made it up over here. And that's my base. <laughs> Alright, then to Arcadius, or do we just want to go around the horn, since we're all in walking distance? <laughs> oh, we can go around the horn. Um, hang on, I gotta deal what? with the hang, chat. Oop, yep, I wasn't paying attention. Got it. Okay. Um, I didn't think it would, <laughs> I really wondered if it was going to be a good idea, but, uh, it turned out to be marking off all the slime chunks. So all these little basins of water are where slime chunks are. Except for a couple of places where I built on top of them. Uh, I guess we'll start in the corner with my little iron farm over here. This got happened way later than I would have liked. I, I think both Arcadius and Medic had working iron farms before before I managed it. Uh well, okay, let me let me correct you. Mostly quick. based well, off of this video from Avamance. Credit given where credit is due. I made one small adjustment. I put a, I put a target block there and changed that over to a glass frame that goes into the zombie's head. So that way, when this is full or you pull the lever, it automatically shuts off and you don't have this thing running when there's no storage space for it. And I guess it did okay. okay. You know, it's not a non-build unless you have a way of shutting it off. Uh, yeah, I didn't manage that on all of them, but I'm trying. I really am trying because it is not, you know, as the person who's got to sit there and stare at the server graphs. Um. Oh, I do have a random pumpkin. What goes in here? Uh, that is a slime chunk that I used for villager breeding. Ah. And then for for sheep breeding, and then for whatever else I needed a temporary space for. And what's in the water cooler? Uh, the guardian farm is in the water cooler. When you change the biome to deep ocean, uh, tons and tons of guardians, like, that's just a few minutes of mm -hmm. uh, leaving that on. 
And here I was nope. thinking I was going to need to turn the entire chunk into one of those. And no uh, my little kelp farm. I do like this design. It worked out pretty well. And I can stack it up a little bit more too, which uh, which may be happening in the future. Although in the future, I'll, I'll be able to use more than the two hoppers that I've got. Uh, this was a blessing uh, <laughs> for forgetting dirt. Because, uh, uh, yep, no, there's eight dirt right there. And that's just since we logged in and started. Pumpkins and melons. Melons and pumpkins. I never got to the part where I built in the auto off. Same for the kelp farm, though. And this is the manual farm that I started with. Uh, this was going back to... <laughs> this design was going back to something I did before Season Zero. When uh, I hadn't really gotten into redstone yet. Back when it was just us playing on the home laptop? Yep. <laughs> and you... you <laughs> at least you're <laughs> out you by island. <laughs> the little sheep farm, the automatic sheep farm, which worked very nicely. And got me all the wool I needed for that stupid challenge where you gotta turn in the wool. That... That took a while, especially getting the sheep to cooperate. But, uh, it's loosely... If I could have managed the storage, it would have been loosely based off of the farm that Medic and I built at the beginning of the last season. But it's the same basic mechanics, observers and uh, dispensers filled with stuff. And I think next season I might take the top half of this and then put it into a sorting storage system maybe either way I'm definitely making sure uh, better roofs go on our sheep farm so we don't end up with mutton this was intended to be some protein farms but then I realized the animal cap made that impractical and of course eggs this mm -hmm. little micro farm worked out great too. We're we're gonna have to tuck that into a corner or something uh, somewhere along the way. My mushrooms never made it to their new home in the uh, protein farm. Be free, little guys. Be free. <laughs> uh, oh, you got a jabba. Yep, I got a jabba. My little pedestals for growing the various fungi and trees and things. I had intended to build a, uh, a larger tree farm, but that, that just never happened. The cactus farm, that worked out very nicely. And I wish I had doubled the size from the get-go. Then I would have had enough sand to uh, possibly get the challenge done. I, I still think I could have automated this cocoa farm. I just don't know how. A little monster farm that worked out pretty nicely. Uh, I learned that I need to make the landing pit a little bit larger, even though it's a 3x3 three three hole, because I found out the hard way that spiders can drift and survive when they're falling out of that thing. Um, that, was, that was not a fun revelation. My nether portal and the sad nether island with a little piglin trading farm and that's about it did somebody push him on the bed i pushed him off the bed because he's not allowed on the bed no no he's not i had him in the perfect spot so you could see him in the bottom corner looking at you over the bed which is where you usually find him no it's where you usually find him okay that's fair that's fair and then, uh, you know, my enchanting station that moved two or three times. Storage that got readjusted a few times. My little villager trading hall with uh, some familiar names the second go around because a few of them uh, mysteriously disappeared. My carpet duplicator powered furnace array, which uh, I, I probably will do again next next season. 
flower farms. And I... Th oh. And then the upper part of the island. Like a bad sci-fi novel, this was uh, two levels. didn't quite get as far on this one as I really wanted to because I wasn't sure what I could put over in the corner by rest um, and not put creatures there since uh, her island is right over where the mob farm was. This was intended to go out to a lookout where you could kind of survey the surroundings. And this very overly ambitious river was supposed to be a river of glass. And, uh, yeah. If, uh, if I had had more villagers... More villagers for, for uh, trading glass... And a better source of emeralds. That that might have been a little bit better, but that was a smidge too ambitious for uh, the time remaining at the time I started that. <laughs> what? Being a smidge too ambitious, or? Uh, slightly. Yeah, well, next season. These are pretty, though. Yeah, they came out all right. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to be small fountains, and that, but I underestimated just how much quartz I had to put down to complete the challenge. <laughs> yeah, I never got that far with the quartz. Because uh, I, I got the quartz one done once I got a couple of masons to trade with for quartz. And uh, I, I like the terraforming that was going to happen over here. Working over the void definitely slowed things down on the terraforming front. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> You're talking to me about that? <laughs> <laughs> yep. I don't, I don't want to hear it, good sir. <laughs> All right, well, welcome to my island. Uh, I did go for the castle kind of look. Uh, with the draw bridges that connects uh, Anon to me, and then one that connects with Arcadius. Uh, this area down here was actually supposed to become a moat, and we never quite got that far. Um, but, yeah. Uh, I the like wall... this door. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the walls on either side do go all the way through um, to the end of the wall and you can actually go or well I need to fix that but you could here I'll fix it right now no. Boop, there we go so you can come up here you get the second level where you can overlook the battlements uh, and then you can actually go all the way up to the third level at the top of the tower here and it's like that for all the towers Yeah, um, can, can I just grape one more time about the wandering traders spawning in your tower when I was working on the river? And I really, really was hoping that he'd have some sand or something. And I couldn't trade with him because he was in your tower. Well, can I really, really gripe about uh, the only time that the wandering trader would spawn when I was on? was in the one or two spots in Arcadius's area. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, so yeah, I noticed he was like that. So we got our my pumpkin melon farm over here, uh, which actually grew very, very well. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, incidentally, <laughs> so in this side, that's where all my challenges were. Oh, cool. So kind of like a, a little storage area for when people come to visit they can you know drop stuff off trading that kind of thing that was the whole idea of that uh so we have the pumpkin melon farm and then a little bridge that goes over this little uh 
river thing that actually goes out the back. Yeah, this is the river that flows out into the uh, into the water by the moat, right? Yep. Yep. And the bridge takes us into my farm area, which I do have to shut the door once you get in here because I have rabbits running around in here too. <laughs> Where? Oh, hello. Uh, but it little farm area you got scarecrow going here. I do like that scarecrow. The farmer's oh. house. I didn't know there was actually a farmer in here. I wasn't expecting him. Yep, there's two of them. Is it farmer John? <laughs> Is he gonna tell you? Hey, accident. Accident. What's going on? How's it going? So there's a farmer's um, jukebox. Is the stereo system there? The so, you know after. Because farmers are noted for rocking out. Every farmer. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, look at the little sink. Yep. You got the oh. little kitchen area in here and their little bedroom with the fireplace. Happy 2022 accident. Oh, that's a cute fireplace. That looks warm. We're I'm doing a uh, we're doing a little server wrap up. And then uh, later tonight, about 630 U.S. Eastern, we're going to start up season three on a regular vanilla server and we're going to go find a mountain to build in. How do you get out? You got to come back out. Uh, right there. There you go. Thank you. Two, three, and four. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, we made it past here. And if we take a right, we got a little well here. This is cute. Well. And our marketplace. The, uh, it was going to have much more people in there, but I never really got further past that. Yeah. Got a guy here that's cooking. I, I got to say that this little marketplace was probably my favorite of your decorative builds. <laughs> yeah, so we got we got the guy here that that cooks food. We got the guy that sells all the the uh, historically or anatomically accurate heads. Uh, the ethically acquired yep. heads. They're shrinking heads. We've got our uh, little flower vendor here. And this was going to be a guy selling honey. Yeah, I never did get the bees going. You got a nice little jar full of honey over here. Like yeah, this that's one. My, that's my overturned poo pot. Hey, he's got a uh, bamboo over here. I what? forgot that we had the boralises. Hmm? Where's the bamboo? I'm teasing. You don't have bamboo. Oh, I was oh. about to say, dude. <laughs> like, for serious. <laughs> Look yeah, at the boralis face. That's it's my so overturned. Uh, that's my overturned poo pot. If you actually look at it from the side, it's a, it's a pot, and it was overturned, and now there's a little bit of honey that was spilled out of it. That's cute. Um, man, see my little wagon the, uh, here. Spammers are kind of busy today. You beat me to that one. You can see my wagon over here, with the donkey tied up, mm -hmm. getting ready to transport some wheat. Uh, and then that we'll go back over that way in a minute. That's towards Arcadius's. Okay. Okay. Uh, so he, this guy was my number one librarian. Boop. <laughs> There we go. That's my mending dude. Oh, so he yeah. Got, he got space all to himself. His room is a little no, austere, no, isn't no, it? No. Go away. I, I also <laughs> noticed that you, like, tripled up on the door to him as well. <laughs> yeah, I did. Yeah. Right, close that. Open, close, close, and close. Yeah. Uh, like, <laughs> dude's triple locked in. <laughs> Princess locked in a cabinet. All right, so this was originally where I was doing all my cobblestone and that kind of stuff, but I opened it up, uh, turned this into my nether wart farm. Nice. The lava yeah. wall's nice, too. Yeah, I like it, especially at night. Uh, then we I come really back like out here. Design. What's down the hole? Uh, we'll go down there in a minute. Okay. Uh, so come back through here and back there Arcadius was 
was going to be an observation place, cat. but <laughs> wait, what cat? Oh, okay, no cat. Never mind. I didn't see anything. No, no cats. Uh, so where you're going, Reyes, that was my original fishing pond. Then it was turned into a kelp farm, and now it's just nothing. I just haven't had a chance to tear it down yet. Uh, this is my tree farm. As you can see, we got lumber stacked up over here. Huge. And got some uh, firewood chopped up, ready to go. <laughs> okay, so then we come back. Down here was where I was going to put my um, uh, the end portal. Ah, but okay. Never made that. Yeah. I tried. I tried so hard. I think I got yeah, uh, three frame, three or six frames, but not. Up here? This is the breeding ground for my, uh, all my villagers. Wait, I got lost. Where are we? Over here. Okay. We're, we're in the, the stripped jungle log building, which looks yeah. better yeah. than I would have expected it to. Why can't I go up the stairs? A uh, duck. Uh, duck. Yep. Duck. Where? Duck. Goose. I did. Oh wait, wrong game. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was my uh, training center. Oh, uh, why, why the why the uh, wounded golem? Uh, yeah. No, no matter what I did, I cannot get him to stop respawning right there. Did you try so putting carpet what? down? Yeah, I have. Uh, I forgot what it was I actually have around there, but somehow he just keeps respawning and falling onto that ledge. Oh, so okay. I just left it alone. This is a pretty um, house, though. I love all the texture. Here's here's a little area where everybody <laughs> comes to <laughs> hang out. Hey, wait a minute. Where's my parrot? Here, buddy. Come on. Come on. It's like a little cafe. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's my little outdoor cafe area. There we go. Somebody broke a table. Yeah. I'll have to do some flogging. <laughs> okay, uh, and you know, this is just going to be easier, easier if I just do that right there. There we go. <laughs> okay. Ah, yes. Someone did pretty storage. So yeah, this is my storage and my furnace array and my automatic food cooker all in one. And what's really cool is I specifically left um, the space at the top open to the outside world. So at uh, like, especially early morning, and when the sun's going down, the light shines through. Oh, okay. Cool. Hmm. Hmm. That's awesome. Right. Uh, and boop. There we go. All right. So, uh... Iron farm or the animal um, farm? Let's see. The animal farm, I believe, is the biggest or the highest up. Uh, you know, let's do it this way. Here we go. There. So I I marked off the levels by ten. So every level down is ten. How far down are we going? Uh, you're going to go to. Uh, I met your iron farm. Yes, Iron Farm. That's the first one. There we go. So this is the Iron Farm. Mm -hmm. This is my Somebody's iron. angry. Hold on. Hold on. I heard a zombie that shouldn't be here. Where are you at? <laughs> That's not uh, cool. Okay. Uh, so I guess I need to bust up. That there we go. 
There we go. Uh, so you fall down through the door and it lands you here. Ah. Uh, once you land yeah. here, then you can come up. And I got my iron farm right above me. And the villagers and scary dude is in there. Which I guess if I bust out this wall, you can see. There you go. There's scary dude. Ah, okay. Yep, that's Larry. Larry. <laughs> that's his name. <laughs> oh, sorry. There, there you go, Nan. Nice. No, don't go in there with Larry. Come on, <laughs> little turkey guy. Uh, I think your thing's full because there's a bunch of stuff just sitting on top there, of the hopper. There, it is. It's full. It's not parrot. There you go. All don't right. go, Anon. Don't go. You'll have an aneurysm. Yes, it is full. And an aneurysm. Now we're headed down to the animal farm next. I uh, believe the animal farm is next. No, there's a it... door. A door? Yeah. There you go. Thank you. Uh, so actually, the top of the guardian farm is was the next level, and then just underneath that is the animal farm. Ah. So, so yep. that cobblestone right there is your guardian farm? Guardian farm, yep. Oh, here comes your part. And this was a food processing center. <laughs> but is no longer a food processing center. Um, Got back into the uh, rest, uh appropriate... Uh, yeah, yeah. Went I'm stuck. To, went back to eating vegetables. <laughs> Where are you at? Over here. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, don't, and then, you don't uh, want to look at that build. Oh, hey. D did you ever look inside that hopper? And see if anything accidentally fell in there? No. All right, so from here you can see the bottom of the Guardian Farm. Sure. We're Boop. missing it on. Not right here. Oh, there you are. Okay. So yeah, that's the bottom of the Guardian Farm, and in here is my cobblestone generator. So, actually, if you want to look at it from the side, I'll open up the sides here so you can see. There you go. So, I just stand in here and do three of them at a time. Yeah, I noticed that more than three was not... What was that? Oh, I fell. You can't take damage falling on other people's eyes. It doesn't make it less scary! <laughs> <laughs> and then it just goes all the way down to the pickup center for the Guardian Farm, which worked okay, but as you can see, I just continued it because it wasn't great. Yeah, I, I noticed that uh, the Guardian Farm is way more productive than, than a single rail is going to pick up. And that's yeah. even with the half size one that I did. Alright, over here was my original attempt at a monster farm. But for some reason I could never get the monster farms to work correctly on in my block. Uh, I would have Sweeping Edge 3 and still only hit one monster at a time. So it was very frustrating. But if you climb up 
this ladder to the top there's a switch up there you can turn on that turns the farm on and off i did that specifically for anon so we had a on off switch for my monster farm yeah because the way mob caps work made that uh very very necessary yeah one of the things that i did notice um was how uh anytime any one of us had a monster farm on the rest of us suffered. Yep. Well, that wasn't my problem because I didn't have a monster farm. Oh. Okay. <laughs> a monster farm. And then... Yeah. <laughs> a fair enough chunk of it. <laughs> and here is the end portal, or the... Nether portal. Nether, nether portal. And over here is my super duper massive kelp farm. As a matter of fact, this produces more kelp than I can uh, chop down in one session and carry. Nice. You didn't have problems with uh, sea critters in here? Nope. It's a mushroom island, remember? Yeah, but uh, I thought that still might have ended up with, like, fish and things. Nope, never Not did. This low. Nice. So we are way too low to be getting fish. Now, I guys I don't have armor on. That hurt more than normal. <laughs> uh, this was is my um, uh, slime chunk when I was doing my slime farm. I lit it up, so no more slime. What did I do? No, oh, yeah, no, I turned the mushroom. Yeah, turned the mushroom. That's what it was. Uh, that rest it leads up to that trap door that you were asking about, uh, where I could open up the trap door, go down just a little bit, push forward, and it pushed me up against uh, this back wall right here, and I just fall all the way down, kind of similar to what you, the center of yours was like. Okay. And then the last build down here is my cactus farm. What's this? Uh, <laughs> Spill <that's>, over. <laughs> yeah, that's from the um, the uh, moat that was never fixed. Ah, okay. And yep, this is my cactus farm. It's ready. Oh yeah, yeah, they're all ready. Yeah, we're not going in there, Anon. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> that that bad? At, at least not while Reyes is online. Oh, okay. How do you get back to the top? Uh, I just hit slash IS to go back up to the top. <laughs> and spawn. Or, yeah. Or you can uh, climb oh, we're getting ready tower. To, we're getting ready to middle. warp over to Arcadius's, aren't we? No, we still uh, gotta do some oh, stuff up top. That's right. That's we right, a couple we of do. buildings. Yeah, so uh, I can't warp on your own, so I'm gonna warp to Anon's. Well, what I can do? How come you can't warp to my island? Because you're already on the I island. Oh, well, I was gonna open up. I opened up the. Uh, if you wanted to climb up, I opened that up. This is a very long climb. Mm-hmm. Yes, it is. Which is why I just use slash is to get up here. <laughs> you, you should also check uh, where your old protein farm was. I can't remember if I tossed something in there when I was just trying to drop something off for you. I'm still climbing. I cannot pick other players' loot when I'm a visitor? Who's yeah. dropping no. stuff? The the chickens. I threw oh. a shovel down on top of you guys. <laughs> no! <laughs> Did you just... Me. Huh? <laughs> Did you just fall? No, oh. but they shut the trap door when I was coming up. Oh. <laughs> Alright, um... So, now we go inside here. Oh, this is the other cactus farm, by the way. Yeah. Uh, that was the that original was your original cactus, cactus farm, farm right? Mm-hmm. 
We haven't been in the big house yet, have we? Nope. I'm going in now. Okay. Alright, so this was my first house. My regular house, and it became the, uh, uh, what do you call those welcoming centers. So I, I set my my island warp to right here, so whenever you warped, you popped into the welcoming center. And in the welcoming center is the anatomically accurate heads of visitors in the past. <laughs> Your guest book. <laughs> yeah, kind of like one of those things where you go to a restaurant and they have like dollar bills all over the walls and stuff and people just sign a dollar bill and staple it to the wall. You know, your mm -hmm. way of leaving, you know, that kind of thing. That's what this is. You know, the, the head guy down there uh, <laughs> makes a uh, copy of your head and then we stick it in here. The head guy. I see yeah. what you did there. Yeah. Yep, it's that's, like sculpture, you know. that's my stairway up here, which uh, brings me to my enchanting area and my bed. Uh, we got little Boba there, uh, Pumpkin McPumpkin kin, kin and Medics, little kitchen. It's off to the left. Yep, it is. And then, of course, my spot that I would sit at right here and watch Arcadius build. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> yes, I have done that several times. Now, out here, this used to be a pool until I needed sugar cane, so I filled it in and made sugar cane farm. Yeah, that, that happened a lot this season, going... Oh man, I need... Alright, time to tear this down. Uh... Yeah, and this is supposed to be a like one of those Japanese style sliding doors. <clears throat> and it's yeah. just... It. It's slid open right now. I see it. Whew. I like it. I like it. Alright, uh, so that's pretty much my build. And like I said, these, these doors right here... Uh, if you just walked in there and fell, that take you to the animal farm. This, oh, oh, you have to do the uh, iron farm one. Okay. I think I think it's the iron farm one. Let me check. Uh, well, actually, you know, the animal farm one would be fun. Try try the animal farm one. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See how close you get to it. Go on. Go ahead, Reyes. Are you pushing me? Yeah. yeah. No. I don't want you. <laughs> Here, Arcadius, you try the Iron Farm one. Ready? Go. Go. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, those feel great. <laughs> All right, uh, so that's the end of the tour for me, and uh, on the Arcadius side. All right, let me uh, let me climb up the ladder because I, I want to walk through the gate. You, you work so hard on that gate. Uh, which ladder are you climbing up? So I know. Okay, is it open still? It should yep. be. It looks like it. Why can't I get my bird to sit? I don't want him... Because once I get over to Arcadius' island, he's going to become Arcadius' bird. Uh, jump. And then just right-click on him when he lands. Right-click on him. Yeah. There you go. And now we enter the land of a thousand towers. Yep, and this is Arcadius's. Oh, shame we didn't get the moat in place. Yeah, it would look good. Yep. Well, first thing you come across is, uh, you know, exiting the uh, the castle. There, you get the wide open expanse of the, the land that the castle is meant to protect. You get the first thing. You've got the church here with the graveyard across the uh, the pathway. Oh, I like your little dude. 
Oh, the statue in the, yeah. the grave? Yeah. Walk into the grave if you want. There you go. There's a. Uh, one. Two little masons stuffed in the box over there. <laughs> I, I'm still kind of cranky about the, the netherite. Or ancient debris. The house made of ancient debris. Yeah, we, we just don't talk about it. This was going to be, uh, in-game, the uh, storage center. <laughs> it's going to use the graveyard. For the oh, use the graves as for storage? Well, that's what the, the markers on the headstones. And the oh, the, okay. See how the, the chests are all down there like... Uh, nice. Caskets and stuff. But, and there's two clerics in there. And then we just wander on down a little bit further. You've got the... Uh... Can I just say again that I love the, the way you did the terraining? Okay. Come down this path here, and you've got the ancient uh, pyramid that was built sometime before this uh, dynasty was here. And uh, we have no idea where that portal goes. We just don't mess with it. <laughs> Uh, someone who need to sleep? Ray Estes over here. Oh, shush. <laughs> oh, we come back over here. Get your uh, open field here. And then we've got the statue of the uh, great and mighty dragon. My dragon. Dice dragon. The dice dragon. <laughs> Blacksmith's hut. The armor isn't allowed in the house, and I don't know what he did to piss off his uh, husband or whatever. Okay, I've been meaning to check on who's this with. Oh, okay. That's why yeah. the golems are here. All right, because you get enough villagers to. enough uh, of those guys to make it a, quote, village. This is yep. cute, though. Mm hmm. Kept trying to figure out how to put a sign onto this right here mm -hmm. uh, to say abandoned, but I could never get a sign to hang there. Oh, on the sign, yeah, or on the on the chain. We just don't go in there. Yeah, I know, I know that 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 that's a farm that makes me sad. Fine, fine, you can go in there. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> it's ugly. We don't go there. Every time I turn it on, I have to go around and fix all my fences. And... <laughs> this is my pretty little pool tower. Uh, I was never able to finish it the way I wanted to finish it. I was going to fill in all this down here with more quartz and oh. finish off that quest. Oh, oh, and use this for your quartz, uh, quartz challenge. Yeah. Okay. But I was never able to pull that off. And on the ground, you can see my template of all the circles I needed to do the, the circles up. Yeah. That's what those cobblestone circles are in there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't uh, blame you on that one. Try, trying to do circles in Minecraft is uh, a special kind of frustration. Yep. This direction, and we'll cross over the little bridge. It goes across the uh, the river, stream or whatever. And uh, just to the right, you've got the shrine that has the pumpkin and melon uh, farm inside. This used to be a functional um, sugarcane farm. I chopped everything down and put a uh, string across the top to keep it at... Oh, oh, not mine, not mine. Three of them? Who in the world? One second. I'll be back. Stay there. Ow. Ow. I'm telling you, I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go do the, the bigger phantom data pack next. You don't know that they're mine? I slept before the stream started. I slept on my island. 
during the stream. Ah, uh, it's not my head. It's Arcadius's. <laughs> yeah, this was the one season that I went with a uh, Infinity Bow over Mending. I usually prefer Mending, but trying to get so it, didn't... trying to get a hold of, of uh, supplies. I didn't realize that my microphone was off. I was saying that those were Arcadius's because they were following him. Oh. I just, what? Oh. This way. Um, this shrine. That's another shrine. It's a uh, cactus uh, thing. Inside. A cactus farm. Yeah, and we're gonna follow this road right down this way past all the little lanterns. Um. Yeah, the artisanally planted. Foodstuffs is why I sent that uh, that little Instagram bit to you and Ray asked about you know pumpkin farm builder pumpkin pumpkin farm redstoner. Oh, just because I want the like straight lines as you walk past it, like that. I love the there. windmill. Yeah, it came out okay. I'm I'm kind of upset that one line, like the bottom. The bottom and top feel like they're thicker than the <laughs> the left and right wings. Thank you, Axonum. We uh yeah we <laughs> we'll we'll be starting a couple of new D and D adventures ourselves this year too. <laughs> but inside the and later tonight, six thirty p.m. U.S. Eastern, we're gonna start up uh, season three. Oh, it's there. It's over here. Oh. Um, inside the windmills, the farmers. Here is there what you are, shepherd. That's his name. And this is where you got your sheep, cows, and pigs. Yeah, this is where everybody is. In the rolling doors, because it's a yeah. I farm. I really like the rolling doors. Yeah. I think it was, that was so long ago that I did that. I think it was, was it you, Medic, that helped me figure that one out? I think uh, it was. You're about as far as the uh, chains at the top? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, because I was on a live yeah, stream. I had, yeah, I had the general idea, but someone helped me piece it together and get it, like, flushed out. I think that was you. Yeah. It's, yeah, I, the, hey, no, 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 don't you go outside. <laughs> 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 you stay in there. Anyway. Um, so yeah, and then you just have all of this. And you'll notice that almost all of the ground out here is the... Um, warp Nylium. Warp Nylium. And that's because it's the commoner's grass. And if you follow the road back along this way past the three shrines, you'll come over here to what is dubbed the Royal Gardens. Because, well, it is Oral <laughs> Gardens, and you'll notice that it actually has grass. And it actually also has a gardener who likes to fish on his days off, which is why he has his day off. And he's a fisherman. That's, uh, that's convenient. Yeah. The, uh, uh, the Prismarine actually makes a pretty decent path on a grass walkway. Hmm, thank you. Um, and that leads us into. The princess's maze. Has anyone done it? I did. I yeah. Well, I made it. Kind of hard to... <laughs> I did the maze. It's amazing. Oh, your textures are making this look really cool because it's not the flat texture on those. Yeah. I know I don't normally love those, but in this application. <laughs> Oh, ha having the the sh the fluffy leaves. Yeah. Oh, that does make this a lot harder. Mm -hmm. It also makes yeah. it look like the gardener isn't doing his job, but. Really <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> Okay, I, I know I made that data pack, but it still never gets old. 
Nope. No. Oh. I do not have spare leaves. Don't make me have to break you a path out of there. <laughs> It took a lot of leaves. Oh, yeah. A lot of people donated a lot of leaves to the cause for this one. Um, but yeah, I alternated, uh, I think it was Oak and Jungle it was the two that uh, Rast and I uh, came to an agreement on. And we alternated them in a checkerboard pattern, so it was harder to see through the maze. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if you just did one, you could just get to one of the gaps and see straight through. But when you alternate two of them... Are you talking about just in the two thick areas, or...? No, the whole thing is alternating okay. up, and, up and down and next to each other. Okay. As soon as everybody finds their way out of the maze. <laughs> it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Oh, finger cramp. Finger cramp. <laughs> oh. I want to get to that path. I can toss you some iron for shears. <laughs> One way through a hedge maze. That's a dead end. Oh, oh, oh! I almost fell in the maze. <laughs> <laughs> You came out the same way you went in. I did not. I was just messing with you. No, I'm the one who did it in reverse. <laughs> and leaving the, the come back out here, and you come up to the palace with the guards. They're yeah, I I like these guys. Not the best weaponry in the world. But um, yeah. are, are these how you've been getting down to your other area? No. no we'll, we'll go over that in a minute. Okay. <laughs> these are the anti-creeper uh, brigade from <laughs> early season right here. Yeah. That's a, a picture of most of my island. For some reason, the maps don't line up with your whole island. Yeah, you know? chunk borders, your island borders. That's weird. Uh, so, yeah, this is where I've been doing most of all my work out of, is the palace center here. Upstairs is pretty nondescript, not much to speak of. I mean, the outside is decorated, but the inside is just a... Yeah, but um, you got your enchanting station up here. I don't think I ever used. <laughs> really? You no, know, I don't think I've used it once this entire season. No, pretty sure. And, uh, honestly, uh, the eight or the, the palace, uh, wall around the outside is, uh, Shortened and shrunk, hmm. but for the most part, it is a duplication of what I used in season zero. Okay. If you pull up my sand castle, yeah, um, yeah, this was the same wall design that you used. Almost, but yeah, it was bigger and it had a more robust design to it. But yeah, it was 
it was kind of the same thing. I didn't know if anybody had noticed that on their own. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, you, had, you do have this one little hole here. All this does is go down to where I was eventually going to put uh, a bunch of my storage to get it out of there, but I never ended up getting it down to that part. Oh. Uh, <laughs> speaking of building over the void, I see all those trapdoors without a lot of island underneath to catch you. Mm -hmm. Yep. That was early season. And this mm -hmm. is the fun. Make sure you look towards Medic Island. Oh, I should have left at night time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. You get the idea. There's not much floor here. No, there's not much floor here. No, 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 no. That would that would take away from the fun. Uh, we'll start in this corner. That was my OMG old school mob farm. <laughs> Dial up the Wayback Machine. That's right. That was my old school uh, do-it-yourself uh Farm. Which farm? Farm. Like farm farm? Farming? Fishy farm? Or like... Do your own farming? I I pulled the uh, dirt out of it to use okay. upstairs. That, that, <laughs> that's probably the part that's making it like... What farm is that? Yeah. Like, like hoe it up and, and farm stuff. This is me just completing that challenge. Oh, the nether fortress challenge? I was wondering what that was. Station. I tried to make it as pretty as possible. I did a decent job. Mm -hmm. As long as you don't go inside. <laughs> what, and get assaulted by the bats? Let's not talk about the bats. I I, I was about ready to find a data pack that got rid of bats. <laughs> uh, this is basically your uh, sugarcane farm filled with water. And boy, does it produce. <laughs> yeah. Like, it is, it is full right now. Like, two double chests, and I haven't been online in forever. That is, that's saying something. This is the AFK version of my cobble generator. This is the non-AFK version of the cobble generator. So I would come up here, I would take up this torch. This is this torch here is only here to make sure nothing spawns up here because even with this island in peaceful mode, for some reason, something would spawn right here every time it got dark. Every time. Huh. Um, so I had to put that torch there. But anyway... Um, so what I would do is I'd come over here, tap this block one time, and it would trigger the observer that's right under it, and this piston would just start auto-firing, like, split second, and it would just start kicking out whatever popped up in this spot here, so it would basically just become a, uh, auto yeah, I wanted to get something similar to this running, but into a blast chamber. Um, no. Once I, well, I don't know how to do a blast chamber. I don't have the materials to to burn <coughs> sand. Um, so having it just no, that's what here. the TNT duplicator is for. Yeah, it's the obsidian um, you need to to do the rest of it. Um, but yeah, so that, that was a fun one to work with when I wasn't uh, actually AFK farming it. But this is probably the funnest thing 
I had on the island the entire time. If you want to follow me up here. Yeah, I was trying to figure out what that was. It looks like the landing platform for the uh, Guardian farm. Hey, if, you just, if you just want to follow me right up here and stand right here and just uh, give me two seconds. Copyright infringement. <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> it's raining fish. Hallelujah, it's raining fish. I don't like it. This is so fun. Just wham, 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 wham. Yeah. Yeah, that is a nice feeling. I don't like angry fish whack-a-mole. Dude, this makes me feel so good. All those seasons of being killed like hundreds of times <laughs> yeah. through these buggers. Just getting to stand hey, here. Hey, language. Sorry. Just getting to stand here and let them die. <laughs> it's it's kind of nice. It's like the ultimate revenge. <laughs> but anyway, let me go ahead and turn that off. And that's that's my own. I like it. Oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> and how do we see? Ah, oh, there we go. How do you... What? This cannot be my stats. I opened 4,000 chests. Oh, <laughs> Are we about ready to, to start comparing some uh, statistical anomaly? I think so, but let's go do it in front of the dice dragon so we at least have a pretty at atmosphere. Oh, oh there's need... squid in here. Where yeah, they happen? <laughs> Medic. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> 2,609 barrels opened. Ooh, I might have you beat on that one. Where's barrels? Barrels opened. You ready? Yep. 60. 14,700. Ooh. Although, that's right. You Whoa. used more barrels for storage than I did. Because chests open, I have 14,557. I thought my 4,000 was a lot. <laughs> my damage taken was 2,136. How do I have distance flown? Ah, my damage taken was 2,750. <laughs> Mine was 783. What is this? Damage, damage taken. Damage taken. 5,215.70. Hmm. <laughs> Distance fallen, 9.52 kilometers. Yeah, you beat me. What is distance flown, though? I didn't fly. Uh, A slow falling potion also counts. Okay. Uh -oh. I didn't use that either, but all right. <laughs> Distance sprinted. 124.89 kilometers. 251 kilometers. Oof. <laughs> I, I got 6.83 kilometers of my distance by boat. Okay. <laughs> Moving stuff around with boats. Distance by minecart, zero centimeters. Ah, I got 0.51 kilometers. 
<laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, here's the one we can all compare. Fish caught. Yeah, 294. Zero. 656. 202. Wait, you only caught 202? Correct. I caught 656. <laughs> I uh, beat you at something. Woo! Uh, Hoppers searched <laughs> 9,970. Sorry, 970. I thought you said 9,000. I'm like, man. I was, <laughs> four. <laughs> I searched four hoppers. You you still need to go search the uh, the hopper in your old protein farm. I think that's where I tossed some stuff. I was trying to f find a good place to put it. Where you'd pick it up. Blast furnace, brewing stand. <laughs> Interactions with cartography table, two. <laughs> Interactions with loom, one. 17. For the loom? Yep. Oh, yeah. Nah, well, you did more banner work than I did, too. Yeah, Ooh. I made the banners for... Uh... Medics, uh, all right, all right, all right, all right. How about jumps? Who's got the hops? Nope, nope, nope. nope. You skipped items dropped. We know Anon's got like three. Uh, 1,902. Because every time Reyes would go, Does anybody have any stone? I I'd go over with a few stacks and drop them. I only have 983. Yeah, you. you the non still beat me on that. <laughs> All right. What about your jumps? We've got Mad Hops. Arcadius is going to win on that one. All right. I've got. I think I'm going to win. Go ahead. I've got eighteen thousand five hundred and twenty-nine. Arcadius. I'm waiting on you two. Go ahead. I got ten thousand three hundred seventy-three. Ninety-five thousand seven hundred and seventy-seven. He's got me beat. I have 73,573. Okay, let's go with mob kills. <laughs> 7,527. 4,019. 262. <laughs> 23,828. 23, Holy cow! Wow! Oh my goodness! <clears throat> And I thought I thought I took my revenge on the angry fish. <laughs> uh, well, don't forget that doesn't count as a mob kill. They fell to their death. That's not a kill. Uh, okay. Number Here's of the deaths. There you go. That's Nineteen. Oh. Arcadius. <laughs> Fifty-eight. <laughs> Medic. Thirty-four. 11. I win. I win. Well, well you know, you have to, you, you actually have to be logged into the game to die. <laughs> hey, I still have the lowest death count. When does that ever happen? Uh, I only have one plant potted. I have 25. I've got 16. <laughs> oh, and I played three music discs. Okay, okay. Um, Shulker boxes opened. Zero. <laughs> Zero. Um, my sneak time was one point five one hours. Is that a lot? Hours? That's, yeah. that's how long you stayed crouched. I, I got point nine three days. Point seven three. Days <laughs> or hours? Days. I've got one oh. point. I've got 1.27 days. <laughs> oh, okay. Y'all y'all jump, I sneak. <laughs> uh, I talked to villagers 4,029 times. Seven. 571. And... Oh. <laughs> 1,343. <laughs> uh, okay, okay. Time since last death. 11.51 days. 1.88 hours. 8.69 hours. 
11.07 hours. <laughs> oh, ho, oh, time since last rest. <laughs> 7.21 minutes. 0. 0.89 hours. Oh, 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 oh. So, uh, uh, Speaking of. Speaking of. <laughs> <laughs> What's Rhea's stat before she can sleep? Ah! Uh, time since last rest, uh, 2.01 hours. Let me get armor on. Mine's a little over an hour. I don't have armor on. Wait, nope, there's still another one somewhere. All right, let's go back to the statistics there. So, uh, time, <laughs> last time slept, uh, 1.21 hours. Uh, uh, here we go. Times slept in a bed. <laughs> 27. 330. <laughs> Traded, really? traded with villagers 17,511 times. Hold on, you slept in a bed 330 times? Yeah. I slept in a bed 331 times. <laughs> <laughs> I got you beef I would. Times slept in a bed 716. Yeah. Holy cow. Uh, 17,511 traded with villagers. Yeah. Five. 1,984. 4,229. But I do have two water taken from a cauldron. I have none. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> I've killed 238 bats. This is over on the mobs button. 173. Uh, I don't even have them on my list. Five cats may have mysteriously died within a bow shot. Also not on my list. Uh, ac uh, ac at the bottom of the screen, you have general items and mob. Accidentally, I know. Uh, <laughs> accidentally poked 234 cats with a bow. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't well, show up 60. on your list, Arcadius, unless you killed them. Uh, yeah. I have 68 bats, 11 blaze. No. 29 cats. I got no blaze. Uh, but I did kill 25 chickens. And I've never been killed by a chicken. I have 18 yeah. chickens. 48 chickens. Never killed by one. <laughs> I've killed 46 one. cod. Oh, wait, what? 209 cod. Oh. <laughs> wow. Was it was my only food source. Wow. <laughs> 297 cod. Wow. Okay. I've killed three cows, and I've never been killed by a cow. 21. Six Here's the two. stat. You killed 971 creepers. <laughs> you were killed by three. I killed 217 creepers, and creepers killed me three times. I killed 2,676 <laughs> creepers. <laughs> And was never killed Whoa. by a creeper. Wow. <laughs> um, did you My know that trader llamas you. and wandering traders were on this list? Anon? Why? Why? Uh, we haven't gotten that far. We haven't gotten that far. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> I killed two dolphins. 30, 36. Uh, 49 endermen. 75. <laughs> Three endermites. None. I I personally killed two iron golems and got killed by one once. It was yeah, a mistake. I, I, I really didn't intend to. <laughs> I've killed 1,922 magma cubes. I killed five gas. Ooh, phantoms. 18. None. 23. 
Most of this is none for me. Uh, what about pigs? Piglins. I, I've <laughs> I've killed eleven piglins. None. Nine sheep and I've, seven pigs. Me between oh, the yeah. two of you, you've only killed eleven piglins. I've killed none. Yeah, I killed eleven. I've killed three hundred and seventy-five. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Uh, now, 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 skeletons is where, uh, uh, <clears throat> I've killed 150 skeletons, and they killed me six times. Uh, that's when I was trying to get the zombie villager to convert to a regular villager. I've killed 3,003 skeletons, and, uh, was killed by them three times. I've killed 1,001 skeleton, and got killed by eight. Mm. I've also killed six skeleton horses while trying to kill those skeletons. <laughs> I, I've only killed four <laughs> skeleton horses. Uh, I got three. <laughs> I killed 1,036 slime, and they've killed me twice while building that stupid farm. <laughs> I've killed 17, but I've never died by one. I've killed 2,170, and I've never died by one. I killed 20 spiders, but never got killed by one. I killed 301, but they killed me six times. Uh, they Ooh. did kill me once, but I got 478 of them. I killed two squid. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> Three. Uh, four trader llamas may or may not have died in my vicinity. I, I think this is kind of uh, wrong. I feel like um, that if the llama fell off the side, it shouldn't count, but somehow 18 of them did. <laughs> uh, four wandering traders also suffered an unfortunate accident on my island. 13. Yeah, six of them was trying to get their heads uh, made, you know, to be put up all over the place, and uh, it was back when the head guy was still a novice. Mm -hmm. uh, One. I killed seven witches. None of them got me back. 88. 40. Uh, I've killed 208 zombies, and they got me four times. Well, before we move on to that, I got 16 wither skeletons. How many skeleton heads did you get out of that? Wither skeletons? I got one. Yeah, I killed 44 and never got a single one. Damn, that's just... Sorry. Um, I killed one zombie villager by mistake. RNGs and all that. Uh, zombie villager? 24 yeah. zombie villagers by mistake. And 947 zombies. Uh, hmm. 45 zombie villagers and 3,186 zombies. Wow. Uh, now I did kill 3,446 zombified piglins. Wow. That was my primary source of XP. What are you talking about? All right. Wow. <laughs> you only did 62. And I needed gold, hey. man. You, you ready for this? Yep. I killed 9,037 zombified piglins. Ooh. Okay. They killed, they killed me nine times, and all nine times was when Arcadius stayed logged in in his area <laughs> so they stayed <laughs> mad at me for like three days straight <laughs> one time man one time that's all it took nine <laughs> deaths from that one time oh man. wow well let's get to the to the stat everybody wants to know okay how many times Abel? have you mined cobblestone? 62,926. Hold on, I gotta find it. It's under items, and if you click on times mined, it will sort by times mined. Four hundred and seventy-five thousand two hundred and sixty-five. Holy! Wow. I've only... Forty-one thousand and seventy-one. Oh wait, wait, no, I'm sorry, I misplaced a zero there. No, forty-seven thousand two hundred and sixty-five. Oh, okay. Okay. That, that's better. 
So it's 62,926. Does that... I don't know that's a record I want to win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about you, Rest? 11,780. I hmm. thought she was about to say 11. <laughs> I was going to say no. That can't be right. <laughs> I was like, dang, that was a whole lot of, does anybody have any stone? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is everyone's <laughs> second most mind block the entire season? <laughs> Smooth stone slabs. What about you, Medic? Uh, sugar cane. Mine is netherrack. <laughs> Mine is yeah. sugar cane and vines. Uh, so how many stone pickaxes did you guys break? I broke 252. Ooh, I actually don't know. 101. Stone oh. pickaxes? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 154. 187. I've also broken three diamond pickaxes. Uh, oh. I haven't broken... I broke one wood pickaxe, and that's the only other tool that I broke. Uh, <laughs> I broke a lot of stuff. <laughs> I, I was getting ready to say, I broke a lot of stuff. Like the 252 stone pickaxes, 58 stone axes, 21 iron pickaxes, uh, 12 stone swords, 3 diamond pickaxes, a couple of gold helmets, a couple of wooden pickaxes, a pair of shears... Uh, various other bits and bobs of armor. A golden pickaxe that I don't remember breaking, but there we are. Uh, a stone hoe, a wooden hoe. A bow. Outside of stone and iron tools, I didn't break anything else. Uh, uh some fishing poles, but <laughs> as far as tools go, I never broke iron or, or a diamond or higher like I would normally do. What about That's your a, times of crafted? <laughs> Uh, cobblestone slabs, 22,326. Uh, cobblestone meal, 20,598. Mm. Cobblestone slab, 32,205. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wow. Look, blue glass is rapidly making a rise on that. Uh, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> Uh, blue glass used. definitely makes the top in the time uh, top ten in the times used uh, five hundred five or sorry five thousand five hundred and seventy one blue stained glass placed. It's not the most used though. The most used is a diamond pickaxe, followed by stone pickaxe, followed by netherite pickaxe, followed by those cobblestone slabs I crafted. So My most used is uh, netherite pickaxe at fifty four or fifty two thousand four hundred thirty. So is it sad that your guys' most used items are tools, and my most used item is cobblestone slab? <laughs> now cobblestone slab is my fourth most used. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Hey, oh, Ray oh, asked, oh. my most dropped item were stone blocks. Anon's going to love this one. Followed by chiseled bricks. Well, I mean, there were poppies, but I dropped those over the wall, so I don't think they count. Oh, and same for the raw cod. Uh, yeah, so Anon's going to love my most dropped item. Mm -hmm. 1,206 of them. Okay. Blocks of iron. <laughs> <laughs> My most wow. dropped item. 6,547 cod. <laughs> uh, yeah, raw cod is my third one at 1,572. Threw that off the ledge. And yep. Yep. Said Fly away, fishes. Uh, the poppy... 285 ink sacks. <laughs> what was everybody's most picked up item? 
Uh, cobblestone. Cobblestone. <laughs> Mel melon slice. Wow. Mine is kelp with 24,795. Yeah, because I did the automated farms for those. They they don't really show up in, uh, in my yeah, thing. Mine, mine's melon slice with 29,034. <laughs> wow. Good on you with that, uh, Fortune axe. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to disconnect. Dug on it. I meant to get out of the stats. There we go. Uh, and it's raining again. <laughs> so I don't know about you guys, but I did. I did have a little bit of fun with the resource limitations of Skyblock, and trying to figure out how to make use of. <laughs> you have. You have two bits of ice, a uh, bucket of lava, and these other small items. Go forth and build your island. Um, I enjoyed, I enjoyed it after I figured out how to get around a lot of the problems that I had initially, uh, early on. Um... And it wasn't just like normal skyblock problems. It was problems with this particular yeah. edition. You know, where stuff like the sweeping edge not working and uh, not being able to uh, get any of the challenges to the fishing. Uh. I couldn't get the fishing <laughs> thing to work at all for the longest time. Yeah, you know, well. Things like that. Yeah. It, it definitely highlighted uh, our different styles a lot. Ow. I missed the mistime that. Uh, reminiscing and fighting uh, phantoms? I thought I heard one more. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Yeah, you, like, you, you look at the machines and the designs and the blending of the two, and you see who who really specializes in which and to what extent. Like, uh, the terrain and the buildings and the decorations and, and like, the patio, the tent. Mm -hmm. The tent with the little cellars, uh... And then most of mine, I, I still never got around to building the back of the machine or whatever. Like, it looks pretty on the inside. Ish. But I am looking forward to getting back to a more collaborative style this next go round. I really yes. like being able to go. Uh, <laughs> I, I've built this machine. Somebody make something pretty around it. <laughs> Cause... Yeah, and I am also really liking the idea of all of us uh, being in the same mountain. I think that's going to be pretty cool to see what we can do with that. Yeah. So that is the plan. Uh, I'm going to shower and lunch and take care of some grocery shopping and get everything downloaded. I gotta make sure that we got all the updated data packs. Uh, probably gonna keep pretty close to what we did for Season 1 on the data pack front. Uh, it will be a vanilla 1.18.1. I was looking at trying to use either Paper or Spigot as our server software. And the more, the more I looked the more I realized that uh, 
it was going to cause as many problems as it was going to solve. So rather than throw something unfamiliar in amongst everything else, uh, I'd just stick with uh, stick with something that I understood how it worked. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And uh, around 6.30 Eastern Standard Time, we will reconvene on the new server running 1.18.1. And, uh, yeah, let me hit the title card and then we'll, uh, we'll check out, out, hush, check out. I, I was watching a Canadian again. <laughs>